Hi, this is Sergeant Dana Costin with the Cape Coral Police Department's Office of Community Affairs. Today we're going to give you a brief video walkthrough of the new crime mapping tool on capecops.com. The Cape Coral Police Department has partnered with crimereports.com to bring you a new interactive crime mapping tool. Let's take a look. As you can see on the main page of capecops.com, the crime mapping tool is front and center. Let's take a look at some elements of the user interface. Here, you can enter a specific location, such as the city, Cape Coral. You could type in your address. Or, you could type in just your zip code. No matter what you select, the map will change and the icons that represent crimes and police activity will change according to the map view that you're seeing. Here you can select the period of days that the mapping tool will go back to pull data from. 3, 7, 14, or 30. Here we've selected 7 days. Here you can choose the types of crimes or police activity you would like to display on the map. You can choose to show all, you can choose to hide all, or you can choose just specific types of criminal activity that you'd like to see. By clicking the box next to show sex offenders, new icons appear on the screen. Click on that icon to get a pop-up view of the registered sex offender at that location. The pop-up gives you a photo, physical description, and last known address. Here you can choose the zoom level on the map. Here you can choose to view the map, the satellite view, a hybrid which combines the two, or just the terrain map. Clicking on an icon displays a little bit of information about each event. For example, this is a theft. It occurred on March 25th in the 4500 block of Southeast 16th place. The case number associated with the theft is here and you have the ability to submit an anonymous tip right here from the crime mapping tool. If at any point you want to see what the particular icon is and the type of crime or activity it represents, just hover your mouse over the legend in the bottom right corner of your crime mapping tool. Finally, along the bottom you'll see these categories you can view the complete list of crimes in that given category that are currently being displayed on the map screen that you have in front of you. For example, if I click on burglary here, I have two burglary events that are showing in this list. And I have two burglaries showing on the map. If I move the map, and I click on burglaries again, I just have one burglary in the list and one burglary on the map. We hope you've enjoyed this video walkthrough of the new mapping tool on capecops.com. Remember the information updates twice daily, so check back frequently to keep up on what's going on in your neighborhood. The conversation continues online at capecops.com. Follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash capepd. Check out our Facebook page, facebook.com, search for Cape Coral Police Department. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash capecoralpolice.